So we're gonna meet the undercover operatives right now, make the buy, walk away, hand me the products that they purchased. If anything happens, I'm supposed to go into the bank immediately. Is this the black market? It's counterfeit goods. It's illegal activity. It's black market. This is shady. This winter, I got a tip that made my jaw drop. Car tables on the street in downtown Los Angeles lined with just released in-demand beauty products at a fraction of the retail price. Things that had just hit stores. And even to the beauty editor, they looked totally authentic. So what's the deal? I headed downtown to see for myself. This is fake, but the good kind. Oh, we can cut through to the alley here. Do you want to? All right, so we just walked into Santi Alley and we're gonna look around. The prices in Santi Alley are astounding. It appears that MAC lipstick is going for $2, Urban Decay palettes for $15 instead of $50. So what's the catch? Some people are makeup artists and come down here. Really? Yes. Oh my gosh. So she says that makeup artists come down here and buy a lot of this stuff. The majority of the people we're talking to down here don't want to be on camera, but we found one woman who might talk to us. So we're going to go try to find her. So you have every brand that everyone wants. You have Too Faced, MAC, Kylie. Um, like how much, for example, is our, is a Kylie lip kit here? It's six dollars. Six dollars. Yes. And then how do you sell them for so much less than you would find them like on Kylie's website, for example? Well, on a line, everything's from China. <laughs> <laughs> how do you get it? Where do you order it from? Okay. A lot of people can afford a thirty dollars lipstick. Uh huh. You know. So yeah. Five dollars, three dollars, they prefer to pay that. Yeah. I heard people be having reaction on things, but complaints, no. I use it myself. Oh, you do? I do you ever get scared that you don't know what's in it or like what the, I think what the conditions are like in China where they make it? Me, I think everything's just a lie. I think everything's come from the same wear, same thing. So you think a lot of the stuff that you're buying from China is replica, or they're, they're just they're the same stuff? Is it just the same stuff? I, that's what I think. Because okay. I use it, I see the original, I see the fake, uh -huh. and I really don't see a lot of things that are okay. different. You just save more money. Yeah. According to sellers, this is the secret to getting cult products at rock bottom prices. But are they really the same? To find out, I headed to the beauty capital of the country. If it feels like the beauty industry has exploded overnight, it's because you're right. The makeup category grew by 12% in 2016, and the $445 billion per year industry is growing at a steady rate of 3% per year, and has proven to be recession-proof. To fulfill the demand, conglomerates like Estee Lauder and L'Oreal are purchasing indie brands at a record rate. The result is a palpable demand for expensive luxury beauty products, an atmosphere perfect for counterfeiting. It's a huge problem and it seems to be getting bigger. I would compare this industry to, say, a drug trafficking organization. Some of the things, some of the items we've uh, examined have been found to contain lead, uh, arsenic, mercury, even horse urine. How are the products getting into the country? They usually come into our seaports and then from there they're offloaded and taken to various distribution points. We do our investigations and uh, we work our way back and for the most part, it takes us to China. To find out just how easy it is to get the goods in bulk, we sent an undercover reporter into a cosmetics market in Guangzhou, a major manufacturing hub in China. Turns out, it's as easy as walking into the right store, which was the first one we tried. Oh, uh, this is a hamster. Maybe, uh, can I see? You need it for a person that offer business? Uh, well, first, I have to see its quality. Quality in uh, similar to Mac. You can ship to the US? Yes. You know what they make it with? Like, is it animal fat or, you know, is it just like the real? Mm. Same product, same ingredients? A little different. A little bit different? They can be the same as original. In China, here, yeah. famous for copy. Yeah. <laughs> We can make all the same as the original one. Uh -huh. But the many customers love it. Actually, what's inside is very different. 
The FBI reports that counterfeit cosmetics have been found to contain dangerous levels of bacteria, and reported reactions include acne, psoriasis, serious skin rashes, and eye infections. What's more, these reactions can take days to show up, which means the counterfeit products don't always get the blame they deserve. Estee Lauder seized over 2.6 million counterfeit MAC products in 2016 alone. Back in New York, we met with the man in charge of its global security team. What does the dark underbelly of this look like? I traveled to, uh, to China, to Guangzhou, a couple of years ago, and uh, my team took me around to some of the locations where these products are made, and uh, it, it's just unsanitary conditions. I mean, there's no quality control, there's no, well, this doesn't right, meet the test, let's take it off the line. You wouldn't eat there, let alone uh, make products there for distribution. This is just a taste of the kind of conditions that Estee Lauder's global security team finds when raiding counterfeit factories both overseas and in the U.S. MAC has such a massive problem with counterfeiting that they actually have an entire division that's set up just to try to combat it. Um, and they have a private investigator who sort of heads finding the people who are selling it on the streets. So we are going to meet with this person now. Go. Driving in New York right now for the first time. So I'm going to try to get us there. This is Jimmy, Estee Lauder's private investigator. He's the real deal. And not just because people compare him to Tony Soprano. He's ex-military, served 20 years in the NYPD, and now he's hired by huge corporations to get knockoffs off the street. He's going to be showing us just how they fight counterfeiting right here in New York City. A company like Estee Lauder will reach out to me. Uh, they have an anti-counterfeiting program. What we'll do is we'll investigate leads and determine if they're counterfeit and conduct an investigation and then present it to the police. So I'm gonna guess that you're not on the street buying beauty products from the counterfeiters. I do not think I'd be effective uh, <laughs> in my role to buy beauty products. <laughs> In order to deliver a counterfeiting case to the police on a silver platter, Estee Lauder does the legwork. For example, Mac gets tipped off about suspicious products, often by consumers through social media. The global security team develops the leads, then they often hand them over to a private investigator. A case is developed using undercover operatives, often criminal justice students who fit an average buyer's age. Undercover footage seals the deal, and the products are inspected by a brand rep who completes an affidavit that they're counterfeit before it's all turned over to the cops. All this just to get a single seller off the corner. Hi. So, Lexi, this is Nancy Gordon with Estee Hi. Lauder. It's so nice to meet you. Nancy is the uh, expert in authentication, so she's coming out okay. with us okay. to actually examine the products that we're buying to confirm that they're counterfeit. They can become agitated. They can become confrontational. They can escalate it to a physical altercation. So those are all the risks involved in doing an undercover operation. So they're waiting for us to get there. Okay. And that's okay. when the girls will be waiting for you. Okay, perfect. Hello? Okay. So you set up. Great. All right, we're on the way. So the vendor is at, on the corner. Okay. At 1A1 in St. Nick. Okay. So we're gonna go up there and have the operators make a buy with you. So our friend is behind that white truck. Oh, wow. On the opposite side of the corner. He's not in the, he's not hiding at all. He's just right out there. Right out there like these vendors on. Yeah. See, this table is standing right there. I don't want to point to make some comments. All right, listen. Hello. I don't know who the undercover is. You're the undercover? Uh-huh. Like, the girls are going to try to complain if they just act like you're dating their brothers. Like okay. you're from college. Because okay. you're not going to fit here. I'm going to stay here. I can see them. Yeah. And we're going to get closer and yeah. a matter of and fact. Yeah, be careful. If anything happens, I'm supposed to go into the bank immediately. That's the Anastasia. I've heard this stuff's really good too. 
that Mac is the famous one that people buy? Uh, so ten dollar and three for twenty. Three for twenty? Twenty-five. Three for twenty-five. How much for just these? Yes, we got it. 25. 25? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you. 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 All right. Thank you. Guys. So we got all, literally, they bought all of this stuff for $120. And this at the store would just be like, it would be hundreds of dollars, like easily. That's wild. I also got a couple things too. So now, Kat, uh, Nancy does her thing. Can you tell it's counterfeit yet? Oh, sure. You didn't even open it. You just know. I didn't need to. I can tell by the packaging. Nancy, what are you thinking about that one? Pretty obvious. The label. Mm -hmm. Take a look at how sheer tone is spelled. Sheer tone. You guys, they spelled tone wrong on the packaging. Tone. T-I-O-N-E is how they spelled it. So, uh, what is the final verdict? Counterfeit. All of it. So far, yeah. <laughs> but I'm... Sure that they will be. What is going to happen to this guy? Well, after the police conduct their investigations, then and make the determinations of our findings, as what we see here, that he is selling counterfeit goods, he broke the law. So he will be arrested. Jimmy was right. The New York seller got arrested by NYPD using the evidence Estee Lauder collected and his goods were seized. But he pled down to lesser charges to avoid jail time. It's hard not to think it was all just a drop in the bucket. All that work for one tabletop of products. So what's the long-term solution? Awareness. The consumer must be aware of the counterfeit ingredients, of the products of inferior quality that are out there. Ultimately, if you eliminate the demand, you address the supply. Some may say that's easier said than done, especially when the efficacy of our cosmetics seem to be growing less valuable than the name on the package. So what's more important, your skin or the name printed on your makeup? It's just, I think, the brand. The people, people just want the brand. People just want the brand. It's like a fake Louis Vuitton. Yeah. People just want to carry a fake Louis Vuitton. Yeah. People just want to carry a yeah. fake lipstick. That's it. Thanks for watching Refinery29. For more videos like this, click here and subscribe, click here.